you with your boy. My phone had to ask her, you feel me? You bearded prince. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, shout out Beer Mom. It's only the mom. And shout out to all 264 shorties that show nothing but love for the boy and they always support. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe. You already know. We're trying to get to that 10K, man. I know you guys see 1K. But we're just trying to get to that 10K. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, we're just trying to get to the chicken. We really is, bro. We're trying to get to the chicken. But other than that, bro, we have another reaction video. And again, it's my guy, Charleston White. And we're going to talk about this whole this whole YNW Melly trial. Now, I have my own perception on it based off of evidence. He did it, bro. Like, <laughs> like I'm not going to sit here and cap, bro. I know a lot of you fans are going to probably be in the comments and probably disagree and stuff like that. And no, he didn't. And what about this? And look into this. And I get that. But based off evidence and video footage of like where his seating was and his placement... Dude, he did it. Like, why? Like, why are we? Why are we still debating? Like, he did. As much as I don't want to hear that he did, right? As much as I don't want to think that he did or hear that he did, bro, he did it. Like, his phone was present in that same area. Like, he did it, bro. Like, I don't. I don't get what's the. Why are you guys making it like a mysterious sort of or making it a difficult? Tra like, he did it. He did it. Do I think he deserves death? I don't think so. Um, I do feel. Hey, I'm a firm believer. If you do the crime. You do the time, but that's just me though. You feel what I'm saying? We're gonna check it out and we're gonna see what my guy thinks, man. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what the head honcho thinks, bro. I definitely. And lastly, uh, I just want your thoughts on uh the YM YMW Melly situation, man. You know, Boosie was going to the trial, the trial's ongoing. I mean, all kind of shit is coming out, man. Drake was supposed to be called in. Um this, you know, from what is happening with that trial. For what? Drake, for what? What are your thoughts as far as this a shutdown case? Like, hey, man, that boy didn't kill his partners. They didn't say There's evidence. Shutdown case. Shutdown case. Uh, shutdown case. See, everybody's listening to everything in the beginning. All the beginning part of a trial is bullshit. Boy, that for a week or two, boy, oh, that'd be bullshit. <laughs> that'd be bullshit. <laughs> I would say I, I I get where he's trying to come from, and when he means by bullshit, like he just means the media aspect. That's what I'm. That's how I'm perceiving it. He's talking about the media aspect of things. He's talking about the hearsay, hearsay, um, different perspectives, people that have their own perspective, like their perspective on it and their take, and they're and they're you know dispersing it out amongst the uh, amongst the masses, TikTok and stuff like that. So I I, I get where he's trying to go for it, but I think it's a shutdown one, like. Like, it's really, it's so simple you could do it in ninth grade. Like, I'm so sorry, bro. As much as I don't like to see, like, musicians go down, this case, like, let, like, let's be for real. Let's be for real. Are y'all paying attention now? What are they saying now? That, hold up, man. These two dead bodies was killed earlier, and then they were shot again after they were dead. Hold on, they were killed twice. They were shot dead the first time. And Back. the second time they were shot, there was no hemorrhaging around the shot wound because they was already dead. Now, he's saying it was a drop. Like, come on, like, you feel what I'm saying? Now, I, I know I just cut off the, the portion, but... So, long story short, um, there's four individuals in a van. Melly, Melly's in the back, back driver's seat. The back driver's seat. And then two of his homies, one is in the back passenger and the other one's in the passenger seat. Now, two of his homies to the right of him were killed. Now, what's speculated is the fact that he turned around and, well, not that he turned around, but Melly shot the one of his partners in the passenger with one shot and then turned around, shot his, uh, turn, turned to the right of him and shot his other partner in the hand and then shot him again. In the face, I believe. I believe that's what was, like, the evidence and stuff like that. Now, the reason why they were able to trace it back is because, like, well, first, those were the wounds that pretty much ultimately made, ultimately, ultimately led to their demise. And not only that, um, just the, the bullet, like, projections, like, it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't correlate to what their story was given. You feel what I'm saying? So, it just kind of speculates, like, bro, like, this was all planned out. Well, not all planned out, but... It was done instantly, and then afterwards, they were trying to 
they were trying to con like um conduct the plan so i mean me personally i think he did it <laughs> i just I, like again it's just it's simple like i if i was in the court i'd be like bro like you did it you you did it like there's nothing that could shift me and then like when they're talking about that he wasn't present and stuff like that because he he left and like your phone your i guess the cell phone towers were able to tap the fact that he, his location was there during the incident so it's like he was present now they're saying well he gave up his phone like stop it i, I just come on now now the, now all the experts saying hold up man like he got a bullet comes from the back seat now behind what now it's getting interesting it is and 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 and, and let me just say this uh, what Boosie did was a, it was like peeing, it was like spitting in the face of the mothers and the fathers who were sitting there as victims. It's a tough one. Well, very, very, they people. I talked and spoke with one of the deceased. One of YMW Melly's victims, huh? I talked to her two years ago. Uh, she said, thank you. And, and, and she explained to me that that song that he made uh, about his two friends was made a year before he did this. Now, that is crazy. Now, I'm not the biggest... YNW Melly fan. Um, personally, I'm just I I'm not I I don't think he's a bad artist. I respect his music and I I I respect his his art. You know what I'm saying? I respect his hustle. But besides that, like if that if that does really correlate to what just occurred, like bro, you're a piece of sh like I'm just, I'm just gonna be real. Now, obviously, I don't think that's like I don't think that's facts, especially if it was a year prior. Like, how can you how can you plan that out? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's some that would, but same time too, like really in that sort of fashion. But um I, I don't know, just just seeing this whole trial go down is very interesting. A lot of twists and turns. Definitely seems like there's some tension in the room for sure. Uh going from, you know, M Melly's defense lawyers to the prosecutors. There's definitely some tension. There's a lot of <laughs> a definitely a lot of hearsay, hearsay, and testing a lot of people's um uh perception on what occurred, but it's just it's just interesting to me. I find it very interesting. Oh, uh, it's easy to stand and go against Boosie when you talk to the victims. So I can go to Dobie's mother. I can go to Tuka's mother. Uh, I can go to Bibby's, the, the little kid Bibby from Julio. I can go to his father. I can go all down the list of all these different victims, families who I can talk to. See Murder's victim family, Soldier Boys, uh, Soldier Slims. Uh, a family. Uh, I can go all down the list of victims' families who I've talked to. So wouldn't it be easy for me to go against a rapper who stand with killers? I'm with the victims. Facts. And 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 and, and that's real. That's real. And when it's all said and done, homie, I want to be standing with the right people on the right side. Now, granted, like. Charleston might be having his some, you know, his little outrages and some very comedic, very comical moments. But with situations like that, when it pertains to, you know, unfortunate um, events that occur and results in, in you know, uh, African-American, you know, men or women demises, like he's definitely for the victims and he's definitely willing to share and assist those that need it. You know what I'm saying? But pertain to this whole trial that, you know, again, uh, we don't we don't know. We won't know until they come out with a final verdict. But. You know, if you guys are asking me for my perception on it, I just, I just think he did it. Uh, the evidence just kind of just speaks for itself. Now, is it super concrete? Because, like, they, you know, there there's no murder weapon and stuff like that. And he wasn't present, so there wasn't no gun residue or anything like that. Uh, something like that. Something with his clothes that there wasn't there wasn't gun residue or whatever the case may be. So there was some kind of, there's some twists and turns. But when you think about, like, the video footage of where he was sitting at, now it could always change, but let, let like let's just be logical right here, right? You guys are typically gonna sit in the same seats, anyways. Um, when you look at the video footage of where he was sitting, you use a cell phone tower to tap in his location. Then you you do the bullet um, projector, the trajectory of how it occurred. Then um, obviously like having the autopsy and and realizing what killed them, and then noticing that the bullets that were 
claimed to be like drive-by bullets, drive-by shootings, and it just doesn't correlate to what actually occurred. It just melly like come on bro like come on. like guys i i understand you guys are fans of him and I, and there's nothing wrong with that but this is real life this is real life be effing for real you know what i'm saying so i mean that's just my two cents in it you feel what i'm saying shout out shout out to charleston for keeping it a buck man i know I, I know it could be very hard especially in this community when they like to criticize and critique a lot of things but feel me keep it a hundred you feel me it's your boy my friend